Marilyn. Good night, Marilyn. Good night, dear. Try this jacket on you. <laughs> oh, no, you can't make me. Don't talk first to your mother and stop playing with that noose. <laughs> Now, you must remember that she's not as fortunate as the rest of us. Try this jacket on. I won't! I hate it! It's sissy! All right, then you're going to go right upstairs and get into bed. And don't forget to close the lid. <laughs> ah, spunky kid. I wish Marilyn had some of that spunk. Hmm. Marilyn. Hmm. I hope you're not going to start that again, Herman. Well, she's your niece, you know. She's your sister's kid. There's nobody on my side of the family ever looked like that. Well, it's just one of those unfortunate things. All the more reason for us to go out of our way and show her all the love and affection we can. Poor dear. I wish she'd get married. We could use some fresh blood in this family. Well, if you ask me, it's at least partly her own fault. There's no reason for a girl to have to look the way she does. I'm sure there's something you can do to make her a little more presentable. You could show her how to walk, how to talk, show her how to fix herself up a little bit. Say, listen, why don't you send it to that man who does your hair? Well, I don't think that would do any good. He's just a beautician. He's not a miracle man. Well, if you don't do something about her soon, we'll have her on our hands forever. Me? If I don't do something about it soon, well, I always have to do something about it. It's me. Always me. It's enough I have to go out and scare up the rent every day. <laughs> you think you're the only one who works hard? Ha! Huh. Well, how would you like to have to clean nine rooms and a dungeon every day? Now, you can't expect me to do anything about Marilyn. What do I know about young girls? Do I look like I went to charm school? <laughs> oh, will you stop this bickering? It's enough noise.